Hey, what's up there, everybody? It's Andrew from Tech Daddy Videos. Uh, sorry, I am late today. Today, there was a lot of traffic. I did not get a chance to do a whole lot. So, um, I'm kind of, you know, just trying to get my stuff together, trying to get everything uh, done today. Uh, today's been an extremely busy day today. Had a lot of stuff uh, that I was doing today. Uh, so... Uh, today's topic is going to be, are you ready to sell on Amazon? That is the question. A lot of people that uh, take Amazon, Amazon for granted. They basically go out there and think that it's going to be easy for them to sell on Amazon and uh, it's just going to be uh, cakewalk and that's normally not the case itself. So, you know, I um, want to kind of clarify a few things and let you guys know uh you know what the real deal is what what uh you guys should be expecting um again i apologize for being late today normally i'm on at six o'clock but i was traveling about 160 miles but finally got into my hotel room and so didn't even have time to set up yet as you can see stuff is you know literally ready i haven't even uh taken it out so it's kind of like jump on real quick and uh try to catch up so but um anyways uh guys um we have anything to say today or you have any questions feel free to ask uh i will be any comments um it'll probably be a little shorter today than normal but uh i think i'm going to be getting on um Back on YouTube in the next few days also because I have a lot of stuff to talk about. So um, there's quite a few questions that I uh, and uh, had people calling and asking, you know, if Amazon was saturated, if it was uh, um, a right time to get into Amazon and sell on Amazon and so forth. So uh to answer that question yes i mean it it is always a good time to get into amazon and start selling because that is your number one marketplace in the world as far as selling products you want to make sure that um, you treat this like a business okay and if you treat this like a business then it's going to pay you out like a business um that includes picking products you know making Sure that you have enough money for a budget for your campaigns to start putting your product out there, start promoting your products. And um, so these are just some of the things that you really, really have to take into consideration. Uh, training, getting proper training before you even go into Amazon and start selling on Amazon because you can make a lot of mistakes and it only takes one mistake, just one mistake get you kicked off of Amazon. Uh, so it's not like selling on eBay. I've sold on eBay and I've sold on this. It's selling on eBay and it's Amazon. Amazon is like more. Uh, matter is uh, some of the things that you kind of um, aren't best sellers. It's more for the best. So they don't give a whole lot when it comes to a lot of good information for sellers. And uh, so, proper, proper training. And uh, I'm going to be answering you guys' questions. I'm just out there. And uh, so, yeah, just keep asking the questions and I will uh, get back to you and, and uh, uh, answer those questions for you. But, you know, people are coming in and they're expecting to sell on Amazon and they're sell with maybe, uh, you know, $5 to start. And, Realistically, and I'm being honest with you guys, you should have a budget anywhere from a thousand to three thousand dollars to start, uh, just to get your product kicked off, and you know that's including some of your advertising um, and so forth. You want to make sure that you have enough. Don't sit there and try to start a business, any type of business, and go out there and, and be on, you know. Um, a weekly budget, you know, uh, you know, starving from paycheck to paycheck, and uh, you're hoping that you know stuff is going to sell. 
that's for like retail arbitrage and um, drop shipping. You know, these guys go out there and they'll, they don't, you know, that model, drop shipping model is where you just don't handle the product and you go out there and start selling and make a little bit of money and then you can grow that way. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But it takes a lot longer. It takes a lot longer to, you know, drop ship products and drop ship the right products out there that are going to sell and turn over. So um, I, do, I do wholesaling. I do private label. Uh, for example, uh, the two guys that I chose uh, to work with, with Steve and Terry, we finally, after almost two months, finally got the product in from uh, overseas and finally got them into Amazon's warehouse. They're on their way. We actually received them yesterday. To, and we went out and I did a video last night with Terry. We were, I invited him over to my business. We stayed until one o'clock in the morning completing all this. And then we met up at around eight o'clock in the morning and orders and got those and sent them in to uh, Amazon's FBA program. We had to get them all ready and uh, had them uh, shipped to the UPS uh, store and then have them sent out. And um, so that took a while. It took a, a quite a bit of, of, of work today. And Terry uh, left it today around noontime and finally made it back home to Las Vegas just a hours ago and so when I was at my office and basically I had to come up and drive another 160 miles uh, you know to get to where I need to get to this week so it's just a lot of things that you have to do you got to dedicate yourself and make sure uh, that you go out there and really take this business seriously and treat it again like a real business because if you treat it as a real business, then it's going to pay you out like a business. And so that's where my training comes in. And that's where the product of the months come, come in. You know, I, I'm so, and tomorrow, next day, and the next day, and the next day, I'm probably going to do roughly around, I'm looking at about 30 brand new videos just to try to get caught up. Um, with everything that Terry and I did, plus the product month, plus the Jungle Scout training uh, and setting the parameters and, and doing all that. So that's coming really fast. And I'll have, I dedicated myself for a whole week to stay in the hotel room where I'm isolated, don't have to hear anything, and just basically get to work and get to business. And uh, so it's quiet time for me. Uh, so basically that's what I'm, be, I'm going to be doing. Any new people coming in, great. Uh, keep coming in, that's, that's no problem. But uh, as far as my coaching, my private coaching, my one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'm, I'm, I'm booked up for that. I'm just putting that on hold for a second. And, um, you know, so if you need private coaching, just give me a call. My phone number is up on top and it's going to be 626-225. 5302. Just give me a call and we'll schedule something. But uh, I know it won't be for the next few weeks at least because of uh, the holidays and everything else. I'm just trying to get caught up. The first of the year um, is when I get extremely busy. Uh, it's You consider yourself like a tax man during tax season, and I'm booked. And so um, come the first of the year, that's when everybody comes in they want training and then it's just like a flood that comes in and then all of a sudden i'm getting a lot more new members coming in and then even after uh tax season because everybody's getting their tax money and so forth and do that so um you know catch me while you can monday nights is a perfect opportunity for you guys to sit there and ask the questions that you need to ask especially if it's pertaining to Amazon, I can answer them for you. If you're interested in the training, you can ask right here and we'll be more than happy to help you out there fairly thin just because I'm getting busier and busier and busier.
which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. So, all right. So um, I wanted to talk about, um, you know, whether it was a good time for it to, for you guys to come on in uh, to Amazon. And yes, it is a good time for you guys to come in on Amazon. Just, just be prepared. Uh, that's all I'm saying is be prepared. Make sure that you have, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, you guys were <laughs> cut off. So, uh, yeah, uh, so make sure you have enough money uh, when it comes to uh, getting started on Amazon. Make sure that uh, you have the proper training for that. If you haven't taken any courses, take some courses. Um, I do offer my courses at techdaddyvideos.com, and my packages are there. So you guys can take a look at them if you like. I'm not going to sit here and on you guys and, and 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 what so forth look if you need the training you want the training you want to be taught correctly and you want to be make money selling on amazon take take a look at the courses because there's a lot of great information in there i'm putting brand new videos in my amazon a to z course and uh, i have about 30 more videos going on to that before the end of the year i have well over 100 videos uh, just in all the courses all together so um also you get into our private facebook group and uh that's pretty cool too because everybody who's in that that group has paid uh for some type of service and was eligible to get into the private facebook group so um uh, again uh you don't want to start off with any type of corporation or anything if you don't have a corporation and you want to start selling on amazon it's not really uh, have a corporation. That's all great, um, but if you don't, uh, don't really go out there and try to get a corporation. When especially if you have nothing that you're selling, um, I didn't get a corporation until three years after I was on Amazon, and um, I'm going on my 11th year. So um, it's not really necessary. You kind of think of it this way. Uh, January 1st is coming right around the corner. If you want to get a corporation, take a look at a corporation. Look at after the first of the year uh, because it's not your anyway. Um, and so, you know, don't worry about it. If you can't afford it, you know, don't worry about trying to get a corp uh, or um, your own website. There's a lot of people uh, that are kind of giving misinformation on your own website. You have to have your own website in order to sell on Amazon, which is not true at all. Um, the only time you need a website is when you're going to be doing brand registry. That's one of the requirements. Other than that, um, you don't really need a website. You don't need to go out there and push products outside of Amazon. I mean, a lot of people are going to disagree with that statement right there. But I kind of look at it this way, you know, you, uh, again, there's people that, that promote themselves on Facebook, you know, we'll use that as an example. Well, what do most people do on Facebook? They go there to socialize. What do most people do on Amazon? They go there to buy. And so I put all my money on Amazon. I put all my money in their uh, automatic campaigns, their manual campaigns. Because if I'm spending money with Amazon, Amazon is going to take care of me. And so um, if I'm spending money on Facebook, well, you're spending money on Facebook or Shopify or any other, you know, site that you're going to try to promote your business on. And so I would rather spend $1,000 on pay-per-click on Amazon as opposed to $1,000 on Amazon. Um, Facebook, uh, just because if I'm promoting myself on Amazon and I'm selling my stuff on Amazon, they're going to look at it going, well, this guy's willing to spend a thousand dollars here on Amazon. This guy's doing pay-per-click for five bucks a day. This guy's doing a thousand a week. Who do you think they're going to basically give their love to? The people that are spending a, a lot more money um, promoting themselves on on amazon itself and so people also say well you know um 
products that I have or products that I sell are so saturated and they think they're saturated, but they're not really backing it up by data. And so they're not looking at like some of these research tools like ASIN Inspector Pro or um, Joe Scout, you know, or some of these other ones out there that are kind of giving you data on, on, on your products, but they're just guessing. They're just saying, well, I, you know, I have a lot of sellers, but for all they know, those sellers could be making tons and tons of money. Um, for example, uh, we were looking yesterday at the product that we, uh, that Terry and Steve were selling. And so um, we found out that the same exact product was going for around 15 to $17. We found one individual that was selling it for $39 and making sales off of it. And we ran his store, we ran his uh, report and he was doing roughly around $7,000 a month uh, just selling that one particular product, the exact same product as these guys are selling. And so the reason why is because it's an everyday product. It's a product that people use every day and that people buy every, every day. Uh, it blew the, the other guy was selling it for almost, for double, for almost two times as much with another person, if your product listing is much better than that particular product listing. So if you have a great product listing and people are able to see you, I'll give you an example. You have two listings. You have one listing right here that is okay. You're, the guy's got pretty decent keywords, what have you, okay? Then you have another listing on this site. This listing is going for 40 bucks. This listing is going for $15. This guy is promoting it every single day with pay-per-click. He's spending money on a budget, a campaign. And so this other guy is not. Who do you think is going to be seen? I'm going to tell you right now, the person who is advertising on Amazon's pay-per-click, whether it's an automatic campaign or whether it's a manual campaign, is always going to be in the front of the line. Um, you think of it as this, you think of it as you paying a little extra for that fast pass to get in front of the line and that's how fast you move. If you're not paying anything, your listing could just stay stagnant and it just, you know, not go anywhere. So that's why I always push it. I always have a budget. You always want to make sure that you have a budget. So you have a little bit of spending cash to sit there and say, I'm going to promote this. Well, if you, if, if people are out there and they're spending $500 a week or even $1,000 a week, which sounds like a lot, okay? Um, it's really not. If you're doing that and you're making sales and the sales are coming in, then it's obviously working. So you want to make sure that you have um, just... All your metrics are good. Make sure that your, your, your listing is good. Make sure you've got great feedbacks. Make sure that you are uh, promoting your product. You're sending your products out on time. You're never late. You're uh, getting good comments. Keep an eye on that. And uh, make sure that you're not getting strikes against you, you know, for, I don't know, intellectual property or, you know, somebody complaining or what have you. So you want to make sure that you always watch your listings and always watch your account. It's very, very important because if you're able to do that, then um, you're going to stay in front of the game. Okay. Basically. So um, again, then training, when training comes in and you have somebody out there that's willing to show you exactly what needs to be done, then that's even better. Make sure you have proper training. Uh, a person that is well-versed and well-trained is going to be better off on Amazon than a person who, who isn't. That person is going to be on YouTube looking for it. Oh, how do I do this or how do I do that? And they're going to get so confused. That's information overload. And so you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you have the good training, the proper training there. And that's why I make my uh, courses so you guys can sit there, go step by step by step, 
and learn the process the way it should be done. Even with Terry, when Terry came down, we went straight from the beginning as he was a brand new person. I made videos every step of the way of when he received the product from, from uh, overseas to where he was able to create a listing, get, uh, uh, get that listing, FBA, send that product in the Amazon FBA. We, I showed videos on all the steps, just like that, step as it went. And then um, even to the point where the boxes were sealed, the boxes were labeled, boxes were ready to the UPS store. We even did a video leaving from my office, going to the UPS store, dropping off the products, and that was the end. That's what he had to do. So, okay. So make sure you have the training when it comes to that. Guys, keep up the comments. I'm, I'm looking at the comments as I'm talking to you guys. Um, if you have something that pops in your mind, I'm going to catch up to you. Okay. Uh, I know this is going on probably 20 minutes already, but I wanted to get that out there because that was my topic, you know. And right now is a great time for you guys to start selling on Amazon. Some of you may have missed the Christmas rush. So what? Who cares? You have the first of first of the year that's coming. A lot of people don't know that Amazon's busiest time, busiest time, busiest months are June and July. They're not December. December, they only get half a month. They'll be selling from December 1st all the way to like December 19th. And then all of a sudden to roll down because of Christmas. So what happens when Christmas comes? Like a brick wall. They start laying off like crazy. And you're going to get employees out there that are unfortunately going to lose their jobs right after Christmas because the Christmas rush is over. They may, ha they may have a few of them out there to get the returns uh, that are coming back in. But uh, after that, um, unfortunately, a lot of people will lose their jobs. This economy is not going to get any better, okay? I'm telling you guys that right now. It's going to get worse. And you guys really need to focus on that second income. Where am I going to get this income from? Amazon, get on it. If you want to start selling and making money constantly, find the right product. I do my product of the month. I show you guys exactly what sells. I, I give you the data behind that. Okay, take a look at that. Um, that's going to help you. That's going to help you. You're not going to look you, if you want a, a fresh start. Now is the time. Do it before January 1st. Make sure that you guys get the training and then start going and start learning the process during the slow month the slow month of january for some people for other people they sell products all year round so they make sales all year round so make sure that you sell products that are not going to be seasonal if you sell products that are not going to be seasonal you don't have to worry about when that season's over that you know you're not, that product isn't going to move anymore. So make sure that that product is a year round product when you decide you want to sell that particular product. Back it up by data. Make sure that that data is, is telling you, look at the numbers, look at all, um, you know, Jungle Scout has a, a graph that tells you by the month how that particular product is doing. It, it, and I was able to show you guys how to find products that were 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, you know, and, and so be able to show you guys listings that were poor listings and be able to capitalize on those poor listings. So take a look at those videos. Those are in my Amazon A to Z course, you know, and, and, and if you haven't course, take a look at it look at it and and that's an investment for you guys look i didn't have anybody showing me what i to be done uh 10 years ago until i took a course and when i took that course that cost me a lot of money a lot of money i'm not talking hundreds i'm talking thousands close to ten thousand dollars and so 
when you when I took that course, I was okay with it, but I did some tweaking on it and it started getting better and I started doing things a little differently and it started working out for me. So as the years went along, my sales it just went started going up and then I figuring out, oh, you know, this sells, this doesn't sell, oh, this category is decent. This category is great. This category we can capitalize on and make tons and tons of money on this particular category. And so um, don't get into these wrong categories. Don't get into categories that are terrible. I know a category that's terrible. And I should be telling you what category is terrible. But you guys are going to have to figure that out on your own. Unless you're taking my training. If you're taking my training, then you're going to know. Stay out of this category. Stay out of this category. Exceed at this category because this has a lot of potential. I have a product of the month that I, that I put out for December. And that product of the month is just something that blew me away because I did the numbers on it. I checked it out. I made sure that this product sold and everything about this. I, I was like, people are buying this. And it's just... Those are the things that are kind of like that gold nugget that you find that other people don't even think about that are going to make you money. And when you start selling it and you can afford to buy that particular product because it's a very cheap product, it's a paper product. And that product right there makes tons and tons and tons of money every single month. If, if you knew what that product was, that one little product can make you tons of money every single month. You know, I I sit there and I go, I cannot believe, I, you know, my family members have made $2,000 extra this month, $4,000 extra this month, $7,000 check for two weeks. And it just blows me away. Um, it just blows me away by um, the potential that's out there. There's a, there's a lot of people making a lot of money, okay? Even more money than I am. I, and I'm going to be the first to tell you. I make a lot of money. But there's a lot more other people that make a lot more money than I do. And they're not willing to share their secrets. They're not willing to go out there and do that. And then I just seen a comment right now that just came up. And, and I'll answer that, boom, boom. So... You know, I'll answer that uh, quickly. But you have to know what type of person I am and, and what I do. The fact of the matter is I get on YouTube every Monday and I answer people's questions for free. Should tell you what type of person I am. You know, so there's a lot of things that I do that I really, I could be doing other things. But I don't because it's time for me to start giving back. It's time for me to sit there and go, okay, I was fortunate enough to go out there and go to Australia for two months. I was fortunate enough to take another trip uh, out of the country. Next year, I'm taking another trip out of the country. And so what can I say? I mean... I've worked hard for my whole life and I've had people that sit there and tell me that you're going to fail. It's not going to work for you. And I've been in a lot of businesses and I'll be the first to admit most businesses are set up for you to fail. But when you go and you find something that starts making you quite a bit of money, you work harder. You, that drive is there. That you got to go out there and say, "Look, I, if I made seven thousand five hundred this week, in two weeks, I can make ten thousand. I made, I made. Uh, it was a, it was something. I made a goal for myself for the first first uh, month of January." This year, I what I did was I said, you know what, I'm gonna make five thousand dollars in the month of January. Uh, I I passed that. 
within one week, I did over $10,000 in one week of my sales. And I sat there and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that the slowest month of Amazon, and I'm able to make those type of numbers. So that encourages me to go out there and find more products, to go out there and, and build my, my income. And <laughs> Boom Boom says, yeah, but what money did you invest? Honestly, I didn't invest a whole lot because I already knew what sold. If I, if you see, that's just it. People go out there and they, 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 they judge you and they sit there and they come up with excuses and they'll sit there and they'll go, well, how much of that was profit? How much was that was, did you spend? How much of that? You know what? It, the fact of the matter is when my tax guy and I go here and he takes, and takes a look at these numbers and goes over and says, how much did you, uh, uh, spend in, in inventory. Here it is. How much did you uh, have an inventory? Here it is. How much was your profit loss? Here it is. How much did you gain? Here it is. I don't care about those numbers. I'm not interested in, in whether I'm going to sit here and make 20 bucks off this one product or not. I'm interested in making as much of a product that I paid. My R is through the roof on that. The roof. Now, I have other products that I can turn around and try to sell, and I'm, I may, I may get that at at two dollars, but I'm probably making twenty percent is on each particular product because for me, it's at the end of the account. It's your W nine. It's a tax accountant. Take care of that. My tax says I made half a million last year or a million dollars last year or two million dollars last year. Okay, great. So next year I work harder, harder, and harder. Yeah, sorry if the if the stream is saying glitchy or what have you, but um I'm in a hotel room right now. So all right, so let's get to some questions and kind of and kind of go uh and answer some of these questions. Okay, guys. Hopefully, I was able to answer some of that for you guys. There's quite a few of you guys on here. Okay, that helps me out. Uh, AV, what's going on there, AV? How you doing? Uh, Radomir, crypto truck. What's happening there, Radomir? And what's the deal? Good evening, Henry. AV, hi from Miami. All right. AV, Henry, you lose weight? Nah, I don't know. I, I, tell me I do, I don't know. I have I have a, a personal trainer that works my ass off every single night and she just busts my you know what. And I'm by the time that I get back, I'm like, okay, whew, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Uh do you still sell on eBay? Uh yes I do. I do sell on eBay, but not as much. Um I concentrated more on Amazon just because Amazon does 10 times more in sales than, than eBay does. So I really don't uh, push uh, eBay too, too much. But there are some products that I, I still go out there and I, I sell. All right. Mango's Closet. Hello, all. What's happening in Mango's Closet? Uh, Radomir Crypto Truck says, if May product fail, if, if May product fail and I want relaunch product the same, well, I'm, I don't quite understand money why are you training other people I've been training a lot of people for a lot of years and let me tell you something i make money on amazon i make money on my training i make money on my affiliate websites i make money on a lot of other stuff so it's an income an entrepreneur is always looking at other income sources they're always looking. They're never satisfied of what they have. And you should never be satisfied of what you have. When I get up in the morning, I go, what are my goals for today? What am I going to do? What am I going to achieve? What am I going to do better than I did yesterday? That's what I'm looking at. And that's how you should think. And that's how you should go out there and say uh, those kind of questions. For me, it just drives me to say, okay, yeah. I have a lot of people that come to me because of who I am, because of what I do. 
I'm 51 years old. I'm retired. I don't work other than Amazon. That's my business. I have my own website, techdaddyvideos.com, where I train people to come in. $800, $295, $495, these people come on in, they get the training, and I'm here. I'm here on YouTube, Monday nights, answering your question, exactly what you just got done asking. I could be watching the football game right now, but I'm not. I'm here on YouTube. This is why I do what I do, because it's time for me to sit there and give back. I was always taught that you remember where you came from, okay? That's the first thing that you should always think about. Remember where you were 10 years ago. I was in a lot of other people's positions where I did not have money. I was working paycheck to paycheck. I was busting my ass every single week trying to figure out how I went out and make money. And guess what? Now I figured out how to make money. I figured out selling on Amazon is making me money. So I went out there and I said, you know what? Nobody else is teaching this. Nobody else is showing people how to do this. There are tons of people now that are out there teaching courses, giving courses, charging thousands and thousands of dollars. You know how many people that I get from these other guys out there that are charging $3,000 for their course? Take my course and say, I should be charging the same amount because of the information that I give you? That makes me feel good because I sit there and said, yes, if I'm able to give that information to you and with a lot less, I want to make it affordable for everybody else. I don't want to sit there and gouge people and charge them $3,000, $4,000, $7,000. I think that's ridiculous. You know, I took that, I, I was 10 years ago, over 10 grand, $10,000. What I, for my training, did I think it was worth it back then? Absolutely not. I thought I was crazy going out there and doing that. If you ask me the same question today, if you ask me the same question right now, I'm going to tell you it was worth every single penny because it lit a fire under my ass and I sat there and I said, how do I make this better? How do I do this better? How do I go out there and make other people succeed? And I'm doing it now. I have Steve that I'm training right now personally. I have Terry that I'm training personally. And you can ask those guys. They are much better now or they were back in a couple of months ago. Right now, they're doing extremely well, and they're doing better and better and better. I have people taking my courses right now that will back me up and say, look at his course, take a look at his course, take the course. And, and that was good to me because I'm doing something right. I can wake up in the morning, not feel guilty about anything, and go out there and say, I'm getting busier and busier and busier. It's like having a full-time job. You know what? The reward is going to come at the end. If I go out there and I give and I give and I give, like I, my attitude is sitting there going, who cares? If, if this fails or if this fails, something else is going to happen. I've always had something in my life happen that worked out better when something else failed. When something else failed, something else better came along. I can tell you, I didn't, I didn't have that opportunity 10 years ago to go out of the country. Now I do. Now I'm traveling a lot more now than I ever was before. And I'm looking at things and I'm seeing things. It's just like you being out and you're in a dark room for years and years and years. And finally, somebody lets you out of that dark room and all of a sudden you just see all the beautiful colors. Okay, see all the things that you miss. And you sat there and you go, oh, I want to go here. I want to do this. I want to experience this. I want to experience that. Right now. All right. Um, Boom Boom says, I sell on Amazon an average about $4,500 a month. Great. That's perfect. That's, that's good. How long have you been selling on Amazon, Boom Boom? $4,500 a month. You should be making a lot more. You should be going out there and finding these products i'm not knocking you i'm just telling you if you're making forty five hundred dollars shoot for seven thousand shoot for ten thousand make that goal more and more every single month and if you work hard and you go out there and bust your ass it's going to happen trust me all right 
Boom Boom says, I just enrolled in hand to expand. Boom Boom, I think you're a genuine person, actually. That's true. I appreciate that, Boom Boom. Appreciate that. All right. Villa Lobos. I found a metal insulator with high demand and low competition, but it has a patent. I found a supplier with a similar product with a slight differences. Will this be considered patent infringement? It would not be considered patent infringement if you go a different, maybe go a different shape or something like that. Do not get exactly the same as the other product that's patent. Find out what that patent is. Find um, you know, if, if just take a look at that particular product. It, if you have, um, I don't know, maybe it's like a cup or something that has one handle. Uh, difference, make it two handles. I don't know. Make it a bigger size. Make it wider. Make it, you know, a little bit different. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't have a problem or an issue with that. It's when you have your product and your product looks really, really close to a product that somebody else is selling that has a brand registry or patent on it or a trademark. And you can always go to trademark uh, or the patent uh, office and uh, online and check and see, uh, you know, if the product is patent or if it's not patent, you can check on that too before you do decide to go out there. Ask the supplier, ask them if they're a manufacturer. Find out if they're a, uh, a distributor. If they're a distributor, they're not going to be able to make changes. If they're a manufacturer, they could make you a special mold and, and do something totally different. It doesn't have to be the same. As long as it's out there and it's making it making money, then people are looking at it and they're interested. And, and if you can make it a little different, who knows? They may enjoy it a little bit better. All right. Uh, Boom Boom says, not judging more so, just want to gauge the effectiveness of the program. Okay, well, to be honest, the, the, the effectiveness of the program is great. I, I go out there and I see a lot of people. There's a lot of guys out there and there's a lot of people out there that don't know how to sell on Amazon. I even have people that do know how to sell on Amazon that have been selling on Amazon. I just gave, I did a video the other day where I had, and I gave her two hours of coaching and sold out within three days but me going out there changing everything around all around and she signed up for my amazon a to z course and she's been studying the amazon a to z course and she's been learning on the amazon a to z course she's changing all her things now and she's making more money now than she did before and she's been studying for five years that's a good example of somebody just coming in and she just came in less than three weeks ago less than three weeks ago and uh, Stuff that is um, seasonal, which I preach and I say, don't do that. Don't sell seasonal products because that's exactly what they are. Seasonal products. Take a look at best sellers. Best sellers are exactly what they are. Best sellers. All right. Uh, Boom Boom says, Jose, the seller could file you for a brand violation. It just depends. I mean, that's a fine line. Uh, a lot of people will file the brand violation if they're copying if they're copying their listing if they're piggybacking off their listing if you create and then that's why the uh, private label is so um you want to look at private label because you want to be able to go out there call it your own product do your own thing we uh we found a product that that uh, uh we looked at and what we did is we bundled it with another product itself and, and I preach and I tell you guys, don't bundle products, but it only made sense to bundle these two products together because it complemented each other. Now, if I was there at all, I may have a problem. I may have a problem trying to one particular item. And that's where a lot of people kind of fail because they don't do their homework when they're doing that. So when we looked at the numbers, we looked at the numbers of this product right here, made sense. Did over $17,000 a month selling that one particular product. This one did over $30,000 a month selling that one product. We combine them together and we'll see how they how they roll. All right. Uh, and you'll get permanently kicked off of Amazon. No, I mean, boom, boom. Look, listen, there people make mistakes. OK, um, and you have to make sure that you go out there and do the right thing. Make sure that you know, you're, you're doing the right thing. One of my students, actually, I think he, um, 
his uh, he ended up getting uh, shut down for some reason. I think um, his competitor of him and so at that point what you have to do is kind of like a retraction and you have to admit guilt even though you're not guilty you didn't do anything wrong amazon doesn't want to know what to do is they want a plan of action they call it a plan of action a plan of action what you should be doing is you should be telling amazon that what you're going to do to correct the mistake that you did for example if you were always late and they shut you down, they shut your listing down because there's too many complaints of, of, of late shipments or your late shipment rate went skyrocket and you automatically got shut down. Well, you do a plan of action and what they want to hear from that plan of action is, what do I do to correct the problem? Well, I'm going to go out here, I'm going to hire more employees. I'm going to make sure that, uh, you know, we have good, QC people checking everything that goes out. Uh, make sure that when an order comes in, we out as quickly as possible from this point on. We have a one-day shipping policy now, which we didn't have before. This is what they want to hear. They want to hear stuff like this. If they're able to hear that you are going to better yourself, maybe I, you know, I'm going to go and, I, and you say I'm going to have four printers to accommodate all my orders now instead of the one. We, we've, uh, you know, trained our employees a lot better. So those are the things that it's not the end of the world as long as you're out there and able to do what you need to do to um, get your, my account has been shut down a total of three times. And every single time I was able to get that account back. And twice out of the three times it was, somebody who sabotaged my account and so um i was able to fix it i was able to prove it but it took me 21 days each time for me to finally get that that back so it does happen it happens to everybody that's okay there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're able to um jose do me a favor you are one of my students Feel free to give me a call. Let me take a look at your listing. Let me take a look at what you're what you uh, uh, what you're going against. I'll try to help you out. I can if I can, and um, we'll work on there. Okay. So obviously you have a lot of questions. So feel free to give me a call. You have my phone number. You know what it is, and give me a call, and we'll set up a time where I can take a look at your listing, take a look at uh, your competitor, and find out. And I'll give you a a plan of action of what you should be doing. That's what I can do for you. All right. Uh, boom, boom. eBay, <laughs> eBay sucks. Um, guess boom, boom, don't like eBay. Uh, Odell. Hi, Henry. How you doing? Hey. Well, on there. Mango's Closet. Do you partner uh, network program? Uh, no, I don't. Like I said, I Mango's Closet, I'm very rarely on uh ebay i may sell a few items there but i'm not pushing a lot of stuff there because i'm pushing a lot of products on amazon and because i know amazon works for me and i'm making quite a bit more money uh on amazon so my my main source uh for selling online is amazon.com um boom boom says amazon has the most traffic of any site absolutely they do that's why i'm there did you ever train anyone who took your course who failed at it in terms of not getting results, not making $10,000 a month? Well, first of all, I don't promise anybody that they're going to make $10,000 a month. That would be stupid on my part because it is different. Um, some may do anything at all. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. You know, there's a saying that you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. It's exactly the same thing. I give you the information. The information is right there in front of you. If you don't read it, if you don't take it in, what good is it? You know, you're going to sit there and 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 blame somebody else because you don't want to read the content or you don't want to watch the videos or you don't want to do what this person is telling you to do, then that's on you. Um, as far as numbers on that, honestly, I cannot tell you at all because I don't hear it. I don't get uh, people calling me saying, um, you know, your program doesn't work. 
uh, I get a lot of people asking how let this negative shit get to you at all. It's not worth it. You stay positive, you focus on positive things, and that's what I look for. If somebody's positive and they want to take my course, I, I love for them to come on in. If somebody called me and says, Henry, I want to make $10,000 tomorrow, you know what I'm going to tell them? Because then it's not going to happen. They won't sit there and go, we're going to give Henry um, $20,000 a month because he's a good-looking guy. Yeah, silence. Whoever you are, what they're going to do is they're going to test you and they're going to see how well you sell. They see how well you take care of their customers. You are a contractor for Amazon if you sell on Amazon. There and say, why? Good luck. They don't believe in phones. They email. Notice when you go out there and you and you want to complain about something in Amazon, what's the first thing they're going to do? They're going to create a case. Well, let me email this department and let this department call you back or they'll check back with you. Give us 24 hours. Yeah, 24 hours. Oh, you'll get 48 hours. But if you're doing it, they're going to open up this manual. They're going to go, what was your question again? And they're going to go right to that question. They're going to look at the manual and they go, I don't know. Can't answer that. All right. Jose says, this is pennies for the amount of money you can possibly make. I have no problem paying someone for their experience. Out of all the FBA gurus, I choose Henry because he's doing opposite of these. Thank you. There's, I, Jose, I appreciate that. Jose uh, says, FBA gurus in their Lambo. Not that is nothing wrong with it. You can tell Henry's genuine. And experienced people that have been selling Amazon how to do other things, things that they don't know. And you take a course, and you 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 you're, you may know this, and I get this all the time. I get this from people that turn around and say, "Well, I'm experienced. Uh, I've done eight thousand dollars a month on Amazon. How did you do this? How did you promote this product? What product are you selling? Is this product making you money? Well, 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 and that's what you hear, and that's why I hear." This is where I hear and I sit and I go, is this guy really that he can sit there and challenge and sit there and say, well, he's not going to learn anything. And I tell, and I always tell people this, I go, look, take my course. If you're not satisfied with it, call me. I will sit there and I will spend time with you and figure out what is going wrong. And I'll give you some free coaching if you want. Does it matter? I'm willing to give you what you want. Ask a video for five minutes, 10 minutes explaining this is how you do. This is how you send it to this. If it's not in my course. I want to know about it because I want to go out there and put it in. Sure. Especially training for the A to Z course that you have that. Somebody just told me, somebody went out there and asked me today about brand registry. Can you do more training videos on brand registry? Absolutely. I took that into consideration. I said, yeah, I can do that. I can show people a little bit more on brand registry. What do you want to know? It's already there. There, there, is court, there is something in there for brand registry. And I do talk about brand registry. And I talk about the requirements and what needs to be done and how it needs to be done. If you're going to and this is how you're going to get approved and this is how you're not going to get approved so but somebody wants just a little bit more information i don't have a problem doing that um boom boom says i like to invest my money in things that will net a return i think everybody wants to do that everybody wants to make money i mean that's just common sense um to sit there and and and, and i mean nobody wants to spend money and just make a a few dollars off of it. Look, if I find that 
fucking nugget every single time and sit there and go, well, this dog, I spent, I spent three dollars on this. I'm I'm selling it fifty bucks. Um, to me, is a treasure, you know, because my ROI is over four hundred percent. You know, do you get those all the time? No, but I love looking for them. I did a video the other day, and I was and I sat there with Steve and Terry, and I said, let's check out Jungle Scout. Let's find products with the parameters that I set in there, and let's see if we can find products that sixes all the way to tens. And you know what we found? We to my members, my members for Emma Amazon. Watch that course. They're going to watch that video and they're going to learn how I did it because I'm going to show them step by step. That's my promise to them. To the people who invest in me, I invest right back to them. This is why I'm successful of what I do, what I do, is because I don't break my promises. I make sure that I give you what I tell you I'm going to give you. That's just me. All right. Boom Boom says, I have a full-time executive job. You know, that's that's great. Uh, that's my part-time job. I mean, if you have a full-time executive job, great. I'm happy for you. You know, I don't get up in the morning until 11 o'clock sometimes. And I don't go to bed till maybe 2 o'clock at, at, at night. You know, I don't have hours uh, anymore. Um, I'm pretty much set. So uh, this week I decided I was going to go out of town. And this week I was going to decide I was going to stay in a hotel room and isolate myself and make more videos. Go out and just leave. I don't want to hear sirens. I don't want to hear any of that. And I just got to the country. Oh, there you guys go. All right. So, um, yeah, I keep losing the connection. Um, Alicia Hernandez. Hello, Henry. The December product is not up yet. I went a couple minutes ago and it's not there. Yes, I did. I just got in telling you guys I am I'm stuck here. I am setting up my computer and you will have your December product tomorrow. I promise you that. Tomorrow you guys will have that. The December product of the month. I'm a little late because I've been extremely busy and you will get that. So look for it tomorrow. You'll have it there. It'll be in the Amazon AZ course. Terry Flynn. Hi, Henry. Good to see you again. Good to see you. You made it home safely. Terry was with me yesterday. Um, we went ahead and uh, uh, got his product, and um, we were able to ship the product out. Thank you for your help. Above and beyond. I appreciate it. appreciate you there, Terry. Thanks for your hard work. And, and so guys like yourself, I mean, Terry came down from Las Vegas, drove down to my Angeles, and we made about 25 videos yesterday. Just made 25 videos on him, showing him, showing you guys how to do that. So... All right. Um, Boom Boom says, does your course have a portion that includes tax management, and like tax jar and stuff like that? No, I don't get into tax jar, get into any of the tax management. Look, listen, if the only thing that you should be concerned about for taxes is how you are going about your taxes and charging your taxes, and I do have that in my course. Uh, when I talk about taxes, how to set it up, how to charge the taxes, the Nexus program, why um, why Amazon does what they do. And I'll give you a little bit about Amazon and why they go out there and have, say, for example, Amazon's FBA program, right? So Amazon avoids paying taxes when they get your product. So say, boom, boom, you are, I don't know, we'll say you're, you're in New York and they have your product sent directly to Amazon in Los Angeles. The reason why it's called a Nexus program. And what that does is if they have product and that product is not in the state of where that person lives, they can't charge taxes. And 
what they do is they get those taxes direct. That what they do is they get that product from you in New York and make sure that that doesn't go to a New York facility. If it does go to a New York facility, it gets spread out uh, all over the country. So a lot of people don't know that when they go out there and so we just, uh, for example, we send a thousand units in. Okay, so that thousand units went in and so it goes into one location. So it goes to that location. As soon as they check it in, guess what happens? They start separating it. That unit is to stay just in that particular warehouse. What it does is they spread it out. So it may go from this state to this state to this state. And, and that's um, our tax uh, uh, management. No, I'll talk about tax management because every state is, is different. My courses cover everywhere. I have people in China, I have people in Australia, I have people in Ireland, I have people all over the place, Canada, Mexico, the United States, so each one is different. So my course basically concentrates on what you could do as far as charging your taxes uh, on, on Amazon and uh, how to get that collected. Amazon or Boom says, I don't do FBA at all, well, you're missing out big time. If you don't do FBA at all, you are missing out because um, when you do Merchant Fulfilled, it's great. There's nothing wrong with Merchant Fulfilled, but you get more uh, when you send your products into um, Amazon's FBA program. When you send it in Amazon's FBA program, it automatically goes to the prime members. When you do Merchant Fulfilled, you're not in front of the prime members um, unless you have that prime badge and you have to earn that prime badge in order to get it. All right. All right, guys. Um, let me see here. Does your course cover getting ungated in, ungated in particular categories? Boom, boom. That right there is no, I don't cover ungated because you can't get ungated by a course, period. I don't care what anybody tells you. If somebody tells you that they can get you ungated, they're doing something illegal or they're doing something wrong. The only way that you can get ungated is to sell products, sell products, sell products, make sure your account is in good standings, good standings, good standings. You get it if you have your product that looks very professional and, and you got great feedback, you got great um, reviews, uh, you've been selling a while, you've been selling uh, I don't know, say 10 units a day, and then you can try to uh, go for that particular category, get ungated that way. But no, my course does not do that because I can't. I can't sit there and say, hey, I have the magic wand. You're ungated. Doesn't work. That's not how it works. And if somebody sits there and says that they can do that in their training, you better run fast, far, far away because that to me is illegal all right all right guys great 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 all right so i appreciate you guys coming on i'm sorry it was late today um if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel and uh that will let you know i'm on I'm out this week i know i am just because um, it's getting close to the first of the year. Give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that if you guys gave me a thumbs up um, on this video. Share the video if you liked. I appreciate that too. Um, so I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be working hard. And uh, we're going to be on again really, really soon. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all. All right, guys. You guys have a good one. And we will see you next time on my channel. See you guys. Have a good one. See you. Peace.